welcome back to the broadcast. Well, as we were planning to celebrate National Love Your Pet Day, we came across a group who really gets a bad rap and oftentimes ends up homeless. They're little pot belly pigs who definitely can outgrow their cuddly stage. But we discovered a sanctuary that gives them a second chance. Don Wall has the story. People love their pets, but sometimes the pets change and people don't love them anymore. That's what happens with pot-bellied pigs. If the pigs are lucky, they end up at a place like this, the Atlasta Home Sanctuary in Innis, Texas. These pigs are in hog heaven for the rest of their lives. Come on, piggies! Come on, piggies! Come on, piggies! Come on! Chris Hinnerman feeds 300 pigs a day. That's 300 pigs every single day. Literally 900 pounds of food a day. I go through a little more, over 10 tons of food a month. Come on, guys. It started 19 years ago. She takes care of pot belly pigs, farm hogs, and feral hogs. She's got dogs, horses, miniature horses. This is Mighty. He's a miniature horse. That's chickens, power. and a goat named Buck. That's Buck. Buck. And I, I'm a top pig. I'm top dog. Come on, guys. They don't intimidate me, though they don't scare me. And I'll walk right into you. You talk back to me, and you better look out, because Mom's going to kick your butt. I do rescue and sanctuary, but mostly sanctuary. It's called Atlasta Home, because once they get here, anything, everything here is not going anywhere. This is it. This is the end of the road for them. I pick the pigs specially because there is no other place for the pigs to go. All the animals are spayed or neutered. They can roam all 75 acres but they like to stay together in a herd around the barnyard. I want them to have freedom because some of these animals have been through hell and back. pot pigs, originally from Vietnam, became a fad in the U.S. in the 1990s. But those cute little teacup-sized pigs get bigger, 150 pounds, 250, sometimes three or 400, and they're ornery, downright piggish. They're just like children. They're very smart, number four on the intelligent list, very smart. So if they think they can push your button and you give in, oh, game is on. Happy birthday to you. Rebecca Walter is boarding her pig Katie here, and it's Katie's third birthday. She doesn't like her cake that much, but she loves her present. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich with honey. Potbelly pigs are prohibited in Arlington, where Rebecca lives, and Katie was getting too big anyways. She was really little, and I fed her out of a bottle, and she got really big. Yeah. Kit Kat is only three weeks old, but within three years, she'll weigh at least 150 pounds. So the next time somebody wants to sell you a teacup piggy, a little four-pound beauty they say won't grow past 15 pounds, you might want to think twice. In most cases, those pigs will grow to be three or 400 pounds, and that's more pig than you can handle. I'm Don Wall for the broadcast. What do you think, oh. guys? Oh, Good? they are cute, though, aren't they? Okay, again, at Last a Home Sanctuary is located in Ennis, and it is a nonprofit pig sanctuary, sanctuary that gives these animals a second chance. Donations are always welcome in a very big way, so look them up online. And coming up next, did you know that Pomeranians evolved from the sled dog? Huh, we'll meet three such cuties who are in need of a forever home. Stay with us.